Hey guys, welcome back. Well, today we're gonna dive into Mental Ray. And if this is new to you, I'm gonna show you the basics, how to set up some interior lighting. Okay, let's jump in, here we go. Hey guys, well, we're in Maya 2018. And if you are such a fan of Mental Ray as I am, then you at the very least need to know how to get started by setting up interior lighting. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Right, so I got a simple scene set up here and uh, it's really simple. It's something I put together in a really short time. So I know there are flaws, but that's not the point of this tutorial. It's about the lighting, okay? So I put a little texture on the floor. Uh, let's just uh, turn that on right there. Uh, some shaders on the kitchen surface and uh, some shaders on the chairs, right? Okay, so just to show you that nothing is going on lighting wise as of uh, you know this point, we're just gonna hit render. I'm in middle ray and we'll have that play out. As you can see, completely black. It's completely black because first of all, there are no lights in the scene. And second, if we go into the render settings, I went down to the common tab, went all the way down to render options and made sure that enable default light is turned off, okay? And obviously you need to make sure that you have mental ray loaded. Now, mental ray, as I showed in a previous video, is free for download on nvidia.com. Uh, the free version doesn't do batch rendering, but it's still pretty cool to do still renders, okay? Uh, if you don't see it in this list, but you do have it installed, what you need to do is go up to uh, Windows, Settings Preferences, go to the Plugin Manager, and search for Maya to mental ray dot mll so maya to mr dot ml okay make sure they're both checked all right so like i said nothing going on just yet and what we're going to do is we're going to start by setting up image based lighting by plugging in an hdri image so how are we going to do that we're going to go into the render settings we're going to go to scene we're going to go to image based lighting and click on create as we do that we'll have a sphere created i'll just turn off my outliner here a sphere around our scene and we need to plug a map into that so in our attribute editor we're going to click on this folder right here and i'm going to look for an hdri i'm going to use this one right here and if you don't have any hdri images you can uh, download a lot of them for free just google for free hdri image okay now you can see that we have a sphere that has been created around our scene Nothing else has changed just yet. So we're going to go to our bookmark again, view bookmark and new, and let's hit render, see what happens. We should have a little bit of light going on. And as you can see, everything is pretty black. And that's basically because there's not really a lot of light uh, emitted, okay? So I'm going to save this for a comparison right here. And what I'm going to do is minimize that and I'm going to go in and I'm going to make sure that it actually emits light. So I'm going to go to my outliner and here is my image and I want this to emit light. There we go. Okay. So we're still on our bookmark. We should be. Yeah. And let's give this another go. Right. There you go. So I'm going to save this for compar comparison as well. All right. And then if we go in, you can see there's a huge difference. Now, there's still not a lot of light going on here. It's mainly reflection. You see reflection on the table and so forth. And we've got some reflective surfaces, but we don't really have any shadows going on and that kind of stuff, okay? So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add a directional light, okay? So we're gonna go in, we're gonna go to uh, create lights and a directional light. I'll hit four for wireframe mode so you can see what's going on. It has been created in the center of our grid. I'm gonna hit W to move it. And I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard so I can actually aim the light at my room, okay? So there you go, that's where I want it. I'm gonna place this upwards and let's say a little bit to this end. So that's how that is gonna point into our room. Looks okay, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our uh, bookmark. And what I wanna do is, first of all, hit five to get shader mode back on. I want to have the light that's coming in be slightly colored. I don't want this to be exactly white because normally light isn't white, it's more yellow, especially when it comes from the sun. 
So if you have a very clear sun in this HDRI image, you can use the color picker. So click on this white, use that picker and pick a color somewhere around here. But in my case, I want to have something that's more towards yellow, okay? So let's go in and find something like this. That's what we're gonna go for. Uh, intensity, let's do 0 0.75. Let's not go nuts on that. I think that's okay. So let's do a new render just to check out what the difference is. Here we go. All right, and we're gonna save that out for comparison once again. And uh, although this is a, a low quality render, it still is a huge difference, okay? So let's uh, jump back here. So here you have some light in the room, but not really uh, light coming through the window. And you can see big, big difference. Okay, you got actual shadows going on here, the chair legs and so forth, but we're not quite there yet because what you see in this scene is that although this light is coming in, the whole kitchen area here, although reflective, is still pretty dark. And with the light coming into a room this strong, you should have a lot more light going on here, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna minimize that. We're gonna add an additional light and it's gonna be an area light. So we're gonna go to uh, create lights and area light. And again, I'll hit four for wireframe mode. We're gonna push that out. And this is our aim, our, our T aim, if you will. And I'm gonna hit R to scale this. And I want it to fit the shape of the window, okay? So I'm gonna go in here and let's see, I'm gonna hit W and pull that up a little bit and then hit R and kind of scale that down. And let's see, I'm gonna, oops, hang on. Just gonna tweak that a little bit more. Stretch that out and that's pretty close. Okay, make sure we're um, fairly close from the top view. So push that more towards our window here and it seems to be a little bit tilted, it looks like, yeah. So we're gonna set that to minus 90, there we go. So now that we have that area light in front of that opening right there, we need to do a couple of tweaks. First of all, what I wanna do is I wanna go into the area light shape of that area light, and what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that it's using that shape, okay? So I'm gonna go in and uh, I need to look for where this is at. I thought it was under okay so it's under area light shape a couple of things we need to do uh, first of all I want to use ray trace shadows and we can bump this up a little bit if we like we can set that to three we'll set this to four and uh, what's more important is that we need to use the light shape now that is under area light you use light shape and when we do that, we override the light information coming from here, meaning that we now have to plug in a mental ray light because that is what it now has become, okay? So we need to go all the way down to light shader. We're gonna click on that box right there and we're gonna go into mental ray and we're gonna look for mental ray portal lights. If I can find it, mental ray lights and portal, portal, portal right there. And here you can actually go in and change that color, intensity, and so forth, all right? So let's do um, 1.5 on the intensity. And I'm gonna change that color just a little. I'll take that yellow that we had before, okay? Now, that all seems to be okay. So we're gonna go back to uh, view, bookmark, and new once again. I'll hit five for shaded mode turn on the texture and we'll give the render another go. Here we go. Okay, here we go. So uh, once again, we'll save this for comparison and let's see what our difference is between this and this. And you can see that we got a lot more light going on in this corner right here. And uh, yeah, that's basically it guys. So it's uh, by no means a, a total and all including tutorial but it should at the very least help you to get started with your scene when using a mental ray and mental ray lighting, okay? So hopefully you enjoyed this uh, video. If you did, please hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. And that said, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time, bye. 
Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.